Hi everyone, it's Eric from ecom12.blogspot.com and assuming you read the title of this video, you already know what I'm going to be talking about. Now just recently, Google pushed out an update to their Google Now service which allows you to activate it when you're within any application. Normally you'd have to say OK Google when you're on the home screen and then it'll activate. But now with the latest update, Google has basically allowed you to say OK Google and activate the service when you're within any application. And I really like their strategy. They're being very modest about this. They're not saving uh, all these features for a certain event and then start basically like planting them all out there and then. They're releasing them as soon as they think it's like, well, as soon as they think it's uh, functional, which I really, really do like. So in this video, what I'm going to show you is how to get it on your Sony Xperia Z2. And it can be on any other smartphone, so long as you're running a certain version of Android. So let's show you right now how to do it. Okay, so let's show you how it's done. Now, this will be a very, very quick tutorial because it's literally so, so easy. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. You're going to need Android version 4.3, or if that doesn't work, then 4.4. In most cases, people say Android KitKat is the one. 4.4 is the one that you need to be running in order to get this done. So I'm going to show you right now how to do it. What you want to do is swipe up from here and go to your Google Now. Scroll down until you see these three dots. Press that. Go into Settings. Tap into Voice and then go into OK Google Detection. Now you can see inside here, it says from any screen and from lock screen you can access Google Now, but the thing is it doesn't allow you to do that, they're blanked out. So what we're going to do is go into Language, press English, and then click on English US. Now what we're going to do is press OK Google Detection. And you can see from any screen is available now, so we'll tick that. And now from lock screen is done, tick that. And then if you press back, well, you can't press back actually, what you need to do is actually go and say re retrain voice model. So what we're going to do now is say OK Google three times and then it will have been trained itself to our voice. OK Google, OK Google, OK Google. There, it's done. So now I'm in the settings app. I'm not going to go back to the home screen like this, I'm just going to say OK Google. So OK Google, what is the weather going to be like in London today? for London is 27 degrees and partly cloudy. There you go. Okay, Google. There you go. Let's uh, go to Twitter. Okay, Google. There you go. You can see you can activate Google from anywhere now. You can even activate from the lock screen. Okay, Google. There you go. It just works absolutely fan flawlessly. So, that's how you do it. You saw it worked well on the Sony Xperia Z2. And that's all great, I just showed you how it works there, but I've also done it on other devices as well. This is a Moto G, and this one's got a password in, so I'm going to have to enter the password, otherwise it will not work. So, I'm going to say the words right now. OK, Google. And there you go. It's activated and worked. That's really, really good. Now, let's try it with this, the Nexus 4. Now, I have to turn the phone on. OK, Google. What does the word superfluous mean? So there you have it. It works on many devices. It's very, very easy to set up. And I put it on the Moto G and the Nexus 4 in the exact same steps you saw me do with the Xperia Z2. Thanks, guys, very much for watching. Please stay tuned for my future coverage videos and, of course, a full review of the Xperia Z2 that you just saw right there. And I'll see all of you next time. Take care.